Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to introduce to you this really great game. It's a math game and it's called Sky Joe, so let's check it out. So I took the liberty of setting up this game and there are 12 cards out and the first thing you want to do after you have your cards laid out is to flip a card over from you know the center deck. Now this is an 8. An 8 is a high card so I could choose do I want to take the 8 or am I going to randomly turn over a card. So for the sake of the game because 8 is a high card I might turn over ooh, negative 2. So the point of this game you want to get the lowest number of points. So right now I'm really headed good. I'm negative 2. So do I want that 8? Nope. So I'm going to turn over the next card. That's a 1. Ooh, 1 is a good one. So I'm going to, I could have a negative number, but since 1 is so close to 0, I'm actually going to swap the card this turn. Eh, it does not want to come up. Okay, Mr. Card. Here we go, swap. Oh, and that was great because I swapped the 10, and now I have a 1. So, so far the game is going pretty well. A few things I want to point out. The goal of the game is to get as close to zero as possible, or the lowest number of points. Zero may not be possible, as right now I got negative one. But at the end of each round, when everyone plays, you have to keep adding up your points, and the player with the lowest number gets a point and is the winner of that round. So right now I have negative one, so pretty good for me. I flip over the next one, ooh, I have a zero. The zero is also a really good one. So I stay at negative two, I put the zero, and sorry, negative one, and you know, we keep going. So as you can see, the game is really simple. I have to choose, do I want to swap my cards? Do I want to keep my cards? What do I want to do? And it's, so it's a little bit of strategy, but tons and tons of math, because every single time I have to keep counting, is this the right thing to do or not? Now, I do want to show you one of my favorite rules of this game. As I swap the cards out, if I happen to have three cards that are the same, it's, it's amazing if it's high numbers, three cards in a row that are the same, then guess what? I can actually remove this whole row. All these three 11s actually count themselves out. Let's go count them out. And now, no matter what I have, I actually have less cards. So sometimes having a ton of cards is actually a good thing. And then again, you just keep flipping over your cards until I do not want to take that 11. I just swap them out. 12, not something I'd want to do, so I would go to flip over one. Again, just to keep playing around with numbers. And, you know, after all of the cards are dealt with or the deck is finished, then, you know, the person with the lowest player wins, the, sorry, the lowest points wins. And it's actually great for, here's how we use it in the classroom. I'm going to show you something that I actually did. I have a lot of kids who are struggling with multiple numbers. And I don't want them to struggle, so what I did was, this is how we play at home is the rules, but what I did was I took out the negative numbers and I put down two cards for them. Just simple, two cards. What is 12 plus 0? Oh, it's 0. Well, let's not use 0. Let's put 4. What is 12 plus 4? 12 plus 4 is 16. So we'll flip over the next card, and the next card is a 3. Hmm, do you want to swap out a 3 or do you want to skip, keep it? Nope, we're going to swap it out. So now I have seven, and we just kept randomly flipping over the cards until the kids got the lowest number, or till kids got two zeros. So why do, not gonna keep that one. Why I love this game? Number one, I love this game because it's so easy to learn, and it's a great way to practice addition. If you have kids who hate addition, well, they're not going to hate addition anymore because they're playing a game. The second reason I love this game is because I could use it with the kids in my class. You see that? The kid just won. I have kids struggling with addition, and now they're actually wanting to practice. Because what is more exciting to tell kids? You know, Johnny, do you want to play a game with me? Or, Johnny, we're going to practice addition. Guess what? Johnny's going to want to play a game with me. And I can tell you, based on experience, this game like this is so working. Here's another thing you could work out with kids. Greater than or less than. If I have the two, two is obviously the small number because I could see here. It's a small list of the four. Am I going to swap the four? Am I going to swap the seven? So, oh my goodness, you can actually have fun with family game night. You can have fun with your kids when it comes to addition. And in general, you can have fun. And this game is great. Look look at the back. It's another thing we loved is the colors. Look how pretty these colors are. So what's my opinion of Sky Joe? It is a great game. It is so much fun. The numbers are clear. They're easy to see. 
Um, the cards are pretty color and it just makes math fun and who doesn't want to have fun with math? If you have any questions about Sky Joe, let me know in the comment box below because I will answer all of your questions because that's how we learn together through play. Thank you guys so much for watching. Happy playing!